All right, hey everyone, welcome back to Teen Finance. I'm here with Maceo as always, just us two. Uh, we don't have any friends, sadly. Um, sadly. Maybe it's not sadly. Is having friends a good thing or is it a bad thing because they distract you? Friends are just distractions. Focus on your side hustles and never talk to people. There you go. That's the yeah. that's the hustler mindset. Uh, exactly. Speaking of hustler, uh, uh, we got we got all sorts of stuff to talk about today. Um, first, we're going to start off with some uh, little crypto hot takes that Maceo and I have. Then we're going to move into uh, an ingenious um, way of passive income for all all PC gamers out there. Um, then we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Mr. Tate and his new university. That's may or may not be a pyramid scheme. And then uh, we're going to close it all with some minnow tank. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be good. <laughs> all right. Um Let's start it off talking about crypto a little bit. So what are your general thoughts on like crypto? Do you believe in it? Do you uh, do you not? Um, yeah, so I do believe in crypto. It you know, it's kind of just like believing in a currency. It's an alternate form of payment for most things. And I could see it having a future and it's like kind of blown up lately, so I feel like it's probably in pretty inflated right now. Or at least it was. It's crashed a yeah. lot lately. Yeah. But um, it, it was. <laughs> it's definitely very inflated. But yeah, I definitely believe in the future. I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah, I'm like, I think I believe in it to an extent. Like, I I definitely believe there's like the technology there, but I think it's it's just it's clearly a bubble right now. I think we're still in a bubble even after a uh, decline of like a lot of different cryptocurrencies recently. But I think it's gonna be like the same exact thing as like the dot com bubble. I mean, you're gonna see all these new crypto and nft projects and then a couple of them i.e bitcoin and ethereum are going to come out and survive and actually like be useful and serve a purpose yeah i mean i can agree with that um I, yeah i i see you mean by you believe in crypto like to an extent um like i don't believe in all like, the i think well i just see yeah there's so stuff. many like, altcoins being like everyone and their mom is starting a cryptocurrency or an nft project and i mean people buy them but like then they just lose all their money <laughs> yeah know. exactly i just don't see like there's just too many of those like little coins like maybe they'll like randomly like ten thousand x and you can't take your money out of them but like i don't know i feel like the bigger ones that are like well established right now like bitcoin ethereum um, i guess that's kind of like the it's two gonna be ones. like i mean dot com bubble you see like amazon and stuff surviving it because it was like the big one that actually had use for it and stuff and if it's gonna be i feel like it's gonna be the exact same thing yeah i mean that would make sense what about stable coins what do you think i mean recently there's the whole terra luna crash that happened where um i don't know do so people okay what happened was um terra was a a stable coin pegged to the u.s dollar and it was backed by a different coin called Luna. And what was possibly like an organized attack, maybe it was just like one rich guy who felt like like killing it, like slowly bought up a ton of Luna and then dumped it all at once. And that was enough to like get people worried. And then the two just did like a feedback loop of people worrying that, that Luna wasn't stable. So they sold their Terra and... It just kept going back and forth until now. I think what what's the current price of Terra? Um, I have no clue. But what you're talking about stable coins, like they seem like really solid ideas. Oh, and then, like, oh Terra's like, that. like what's it? Oh, it got even worse. Oh man. Oh no. What does worse mean? Less than a cent. Oh wow! So it went from a dollar to a cent. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like nothing. That's rough. Yeah, but like I believe in stable coins, but they also kind of scare me because like stuff like that, like you know, if it's tied to another cryptocurrency, it's not just tied to the U.S. dollar; it's tied to something else as well. And yeah. when you're doing that, you're also investing that other crypto. Even like if you think you're just investing the U.S. dollar, you're not. Yeah, I mean, I see the purpose though, because like a lot of crypto platforms and stuff, they charge fees when you cash out. So like yeah, that's exactly. the main point, I guess, just so you can do that. But um. Yeah, no, no, they, you got to be careful. They're not, stable coins aren't always stable. <laughs> I yeah. think the whole, you, and you really have to make sure the people running it are, are legit. Not like, what is his name? Do Quan or whatever who's running uh, 
Luna. But I feel like, um, yeah. The runner of Luna? I have no clue. Yeah, Doquan. Um, Doquan. This guy was just, like, totally, um... He was acting like, uh... I don't know, just, like, a hotshot guy. Got a ton of people to believe in him. They called themselves lunatics, which is hilarious. Oh, I have heard that before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um Do Kwan. Uh, stable Quan on Twitter. Stable Quan. <laughs> sta- not too yeah, stable, huh? No, 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 yeah, I know. I think he shut up in the in, in recent months um, after that. Yeah, he's just been retweeting a bunch of other stuff. Terra 2.0 is what he seems to be shouting out. Okay. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'm That's gonna no, no, I don't think yeah. people yeah. actually buy. It. Actually, no. You know what? I saw that it was trending on stock twits. Maybe people stock. are buying it. I mean, that's also stock twits, but uh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Degenerate central. Just a um, bit. So yeah, I don't know. Um, one thing that I do like, I mean, I don't. I don't think I've spent any money. Like, I I, don't, I haven't bought crypto, and that's kind of a segue into uh. Our next little topic here. Um, I've gotten all of my money that, that I currently have in crypto just by mining. Yeah. Um, have you bought any? Too. No, I haven't bought any. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> not, not, well, like, like I'm not ballsy. Okay. This is this is actually a good a good way to gauge how much I believe in crypto. I haven't bought any crypto, but I haven't cashed out any profits from mining. Yeah, I mean, me neither. Um, so I guess that's like that's where I'm at right now. I know that makes zero sense, like um, logically, but that's just like where my uh, emotional tolerance to the volatility and stuff is at. Like um, because it, it doesn't. I don't know. The money that I've gotten from mining doesn't totally feel like real. If does that make sense? Like 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 it just feels like it just, it just like feels, appeared. Like I just like spawned that. So yeah, yeah that's that kind of segues <laughs> into what we're gonna talk about. Um. If you own a PC and you sleep, like, you should be mining on it. <laughs> High key. Um, I think recently NiceHash came out with uh, an update that made it super easy. If you don't know what NiceHash is, it's, like, the easiest way to mine crypto. This is not sponsored. I'm just, I'm just being straight up. Like, you install one application that may or may not be a virus, but um, then you get free money. So. Well, I mean, it's free money minus the electricity cost, but... I think the electricity cost is like negligible. Well, not negligible, but like you're always going to be making a profit unless Bitcoin goes to nothing. But even then, like the way I'm thinking about mining, like is of course, like um, when you're thinking about it uh, emotionally, you'll see like, oh, crypto prices are down. I'm getting paid less in US dollars when I'm mining. But if you never cash out the money that you're mining, it makes no difference what... Bitcoin is at right now, like, cause you're still getting paid the same amount in in Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever you're mining, um, but it's just gonna be like worth different amounts at that time. So like, you, if I mean, if you mine consistently, it should be like this, just as good as ever, you know? Yeah. If you really believe in that, one of the that your crypto will go back up or whatnot. Um, mm-hmm. so I don't know. With the new update that NiceHash came out with, now you can mine like a lot of the gpus the new gpus that came out had hash rate limiters because they wanted to deter people from buying up a ton of gpus so what they did was they put a limiter on the hash rate that you could get that's basically like how how profitable your card is you basically you're making half as much money before but now um with the new nice hash update i don't know how they did it like they won't tell anyone how they did it which is kind of mysterious but they won't they, tell me. I didn't know that. I well, uh, they made like a blog post about it, and they did not say because I'm I'm sure they don't want like other competitors b- being able to know. But um, yeah, I mean before this you could get on like some at least on my card I have a thirty sixty. Um, before yeah. like the thirty sixty non L H or I guess it was technically the first L H R, but it wasn't like the new L H R. You could easily break the secure handshake by just like the like getting some accidentally released developer drivers and then having a display plugged in. That was all you needed to, to break the secure handshake. And it was, then I was getting like close to full hash rate, but now I can have almost current drivers and still be able to. Yeah. Cause effectively. the 
having outdated drivers was an issue when you were like gaming and stuff, right? Like, yeah, it was. It wasn't that worth it. That's why, like, I stopped mining for a minute. But then they came out with this. I'm like, oh shit, I might go back to doing it. So yeah. Now, I mean, what, Maceo? You have um, what cards do you have? What are you mining on right now? Um. Well, I have a 2080 Ti in my personal computer, which doesn't have a limiter on it. They just never put them on 20 series cards. Yeah, because I guess mining wasn't a thing back then. Really, it wasn't huge. Um, it was like. I think it was blowing up around then, actually. Really? Like it, oh, it I guess died. that was the it first di- time crypto yeah. blew up. But or maybe yeah. kind of it was dying off when the twenty series came out, like around there. Yeah. Um, I have a fifty seven hundred XT that mines in my garage. <laughs> that one makes like decent. It gets like fifty mega hash, which is you know that's like, like the solid. same as my card. Yeah. Yeah, and I got it for a super sweet deal from an old. That was friend, insane. So. Yeah. Yeah, um, and it was uh, brand new. It was sweet. Do you got to start mining on your dad's card? Your dad just got a, a 3090 Ti, and now with yeah, the, a... the hash rate unlocked, that thing is, would be insanely profitable. Yeah, he has an overclocked 3090 Ti. Oh, okay, it's OC, nice. It's OC. OC. Yeah. And then, um, what, you also mine off of a couple 3090s in, yeah, in and, Canada? Yeah, um, and we have a... <laughs> Remotely? <laughs> yeah, so there's an office in Canada, and they have a dual 3090 computer that they had for, like, rendering and stuff like that. But, you know, it's really ever actually used for anything. I think it was more of a, just like a tax write-off. So I convinced him to install nice hash on it. So I'm getting like 180 mega That's hash wild, or something dude. off of that one. Uh, like consistently. I'll check right now, actually. It's at uh, 187 mega hash as of now. Dude. What's uh, going to be your total, your combined hash rate is going to be insane. Once you get, I mean, both those 3090s with the new drivers. Then your dad's 3090 Ti, the 5700 XT or whatever in the garage, and your 2080 Ti. Yeah, I need to I need to Dude, work and get them all in the same account because I have them on separate accounts right now. If but, you um, get that all in one where you can just manage them remotely and that'll be like super easy and yeah, then you're yeah, making. I, <laughs> I got small money over here, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. I have two. Them. I have two GPUs sitting in my room. I have Raleigh's old 57. Uh, or, rx 570 and then okay the 710 doesn't really count but it's still here <laughs> i don't even yeah. know if either of those would be profitable but and if anyone needs a gpu <laughs> hit me up oh yeah um um i also have a 1650 super that i just took out of my dad's computer oh, oh 30... okay i remember it was, I remember. It was, it was the one in there before 3090 yeah 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 um so i guess i have that sitting around i don't know what i'm really gonna do with that hey I might just guys sell it. anyone listening to the to the pod the RX 570 is the best GPU out there. It's so much better than the 1650. I don't even think, Maseo, you're not even going to sell it. So, yeah, just hit up me. Don't hit up Maseo um, yep, yep. if you need a new GPU. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, so if, you, if you're if you a PC gamer, like, go install NiceHash. It's not that hard. You might need to go, like, one driver generation back. That's what I had to do. Um, it's not a big deal. Most of your games should still run fine. And just do it while you sleep. Maybe crack a window during the winter. It's a free space heater, which is sick. Um, That's true. And pay your parents back for electricity, or just don't tell them that you're even doing it, and then you're good. <laughs> That's the. Or if you're if it. you're it's in college, steal your dorm's electricity. That is so op. Like Absolutely. then you have no overhead. They've already robbed you enough. You can rob them back. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> it's it's tuition um, reclaiming. So yeah. I see. I see. This is an absolute win. Everyone should be doing this, unless you really like are worried about your climate impact. Then get solar panels. And, and there you go. Get a hamster in a wheel. Get, yeah, get a hamster in a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good one. All right. Um, next I want to talk about a little bit is uh, Mr. Andrew Tate here. Um, the top G. Yeah, the top G. Uh huh. Recently, I mean, if you don't know who Andrew Tate is, he's a an ultra masculine, rich guy from Romania, right? Yes, he's from Romania. Um, ultra masculine so, rich guy from Romania is how I describe him. Yeah. So, a little history on him is he's like the son of a professional chess player. I know that much. He talks about it a lot. If you're on TikTok, if you're on Instagram, on YouTube, he's like he's taken over. He's like. 
completely okay covering the thing is he platforms. doesn't have the, the only social media he has is instagram all the other things all the the tiktok accounts that you see of him youtube shorts whatever none of that's him that's just like his fans making yeah accounts. They're, they're all fans actually well they're not fans they're people from hustlers university and Alrighty. what Hustlers University is, is it's like his, it's a course, right? It's like one of those guru courses, like the classic ones you see all over like TikTok, Instagram, the ones are like, we'll teach you how to become rich. Uh, we have the best stock picks, all that stuff. And the way that his works is a little bit different from the other ones. It's not like a stock one. I, maybe it involves crypto. I don't have it and I don't plan on buying it, but, <laughs> um, I don't know. If enough people like this, maybe I will. You but what to, it is, I think it's, <laughs> this this is due for an investigation, just like new milk. We're gonna open is. the <laughs> the investigative branch of Teen Finance, and we're gonna get to the bottom of these mysteries here. It's not that, I don't think it's not that much of a mystery. Hustle University is a pyramid scheme. I think it's pretty yeah. clear. Um, okay, so um, here let me explain like the the most of it. So basically, what Hustle University is it's forty nine dollars a month. Which that's a lot. It's a, it's lot, a lot of money. Man. That's like I don't like over eleven hundred a year. I think it starts getting really pricey. Um, but he has this course, right? And the way that it works is he gives you clips of himself, like these clips of like him on these different podcasts and these YouTube videos and him driving his cars. A hundred, a hundred. Um, uh, if we get a hundred five star reviews on on Spotify, then we'll get Andrew Tan the pod. No promises. <laughs> Absolutely. Um. Yeah, but the way that he works basically is that he gives you exclusive content to post on tiktok and youtube and instagram to like bring attention to him and he says these insane controversial things he knows will make people mad just to grab your attention and to make you talk about him like every time that someone makes an instagram video or like a tiktok saying they don't like him they're giving him publicity and like people are looking at him he blew up he's so an evil fast. genius he's an, he evil, is an genius. evil genius yeah um no what he's doing to grow himself and his his personal brand it's he's kind of running off like the any publicity is good publicity memo like he's getting a lot of people think he's just like crazy and annoying and and uh just like a douchebag which he probably kind of is um yeah i'm sure he and is, but yeah um and he's also like brainwashing little kids like i was i think i was on youtube uh i don't know if it's tiktok or youtube shorts um but there's this one like kid that he looked like he was like 12 years old and he was like you need to go get hustler university it's the best 50 dollars you'll ever spend um poor kid had no clue what he was talking about he was just like told to say that um <laughs> yeah and it was yeah i don't know like unironically like it, it, the video wasn't like the video was like somewhat popular from people being like wow this kid got brainwashed but, like it was like i'm sure there's a ton of other like small videos like that that don't reach uh like front pages of those platforms yeah, so the way that it works is that the accounts that post those absurd videos in the link of, in the description or like the bio of every single one, it'll say join Husser University 2.0. Oh, it's we'll like an link. affiliate link. It's an affiliate link. And okay. with the affiliate link, actually, it's a lot of money that every sign up, they get 50% of Damn. their sign up and okay. their subscription. So that's what's half of 49, like 23, $24. You know, you're making like $24 a month per person that you get to sign up through your link. And the um, only way you can get a link is if you pay the $49 a month to get into his... Oh, this is a, a totally a pyramid scheme. What? Yeah, to get into Hustlers University. Wow. And he actually... So, Hustlers University is the only one they really talk about. And when you look up Hustlers University on Google, there's, you know, 40 websites or more like pushing this website that people paid for ad space on the top of Google. So you use their affiliate link. Um, and like, it seems like a half decent idea. He has one real website. I think it's actually him it has a bunch of courses about him. He has one called war teach? room. Um, so war room, I was looking at this one. He describes it as a global network of exemplars of individualism to work free in the modern man this one is four thousand euros that sounds that sounds so tight dude <laughs> yeah this is four thousand euros for Holy. one like for the for the whole course it's like i think it's just like a list of stuff and maybe a discord but yeah it's it's four thousand euros he has other ones he calls the, he has the phd program 
I don't know what the PhD program. It has no descriptions. It just has a bunch of pictures of him with women. Um, okay. I, I'm I would guessing buy. <laughs> something about talking to women. So there's House University, which is 36 euros or $49. Um, he has making money in DeFi, which is 299 okay. euros. He has the Iron Mind program. I don't know exactly what that is. Oh, it's a mental resilience training course. It's 550 euros. He has a, <laughs> he has a fitness program. It's okay. 197. He has one on master chess. As I mentioned earlier, he's a he's a son of a chess master. Is he, and he good? Has a kick. Yeah, he was like a chess champion, I believe. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I guess you, and, you can't be bad at chess if your dad's a master chess champion. Yeah, and um, I mean, the fitness program makes sense. He was a kickboxer, so I mean, mm-hmm. I'm sure there's something on there. His master chess, 200 euros. There's one on body language that's also 300 euros. Um, and one on network brilliance that's 300 as well. Or you can buy them all for the small price of 8,000 euros. Is that a month or is it like, per- like just a one-time purchase? That's one time. Wow. We're about 8,200 US. I mean, so. if I were to buy one course from this guy, it would be like how to go viral this quickly because he's obviously has it down. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I'm impressed, but this guy's also like evil. <laughs> kind of evil. I mean, it's not really hurting anybody, but he is just like, he's offending so many people. And it's funny. And I've also seen him well, getting on a I mean, lot of people. He's kind of yoinking money from like kids and stuff in a way. I mean, by not exactly. Like, believe that they're but, I mean, actually like earn money from this. Yeah, but I think like. Because yeah, how many what, people are going to buy that Hustler University subscription and they're not going to get a single person to join their affiliate link? Because I feel like it's you know, a, a lot sure harder it's to get someone. Like, yeah, I'm sure there's a ton of them because like on TikTok, there's like there's like Andrew Tate official. Tate when you official. okay, when you see yeah. when you see oh, you only need to get um, you only need to get like two people to join to recoup your initial costs. You're like, oh, that's so easy. But getting someone to pay fifty dollars is is no small feat. I feel like no, it's definitely not. And I think in there they have other ways to make money. Like I don't know what ghost. And there's is, there's a limited they... there's a limited supply of dumbasses who actually believe in this pyramid scheme to like go around for yeah. everyone so and i remember when he first came out he was saying that he was only selling it to 500 people that was like oh, a big deal okay there we go we got the exclusivity it's good exactly marketing but, tactic good sales yeah. tactic <laughs> yeah so like the way the pyramid schemes though is always like the top like one or two percent of people make money it's no one else yeah. underneath that makes any money so i'm sure the people who like got on this at the start and made their very popular like andrew tate tiktok pages made bank yeah, they most definitely did. Because you can make your stuff look official and be like, feel like, oh, I guess this is the official link to go to buy a Hustler University subscription. Yeah, like if anyone wants to, you can look up Hustlers University on Google and you'll see, I think there's like over 100 pages on Google. Of That's insane. Hustlers University. <laughs> and different websites, different things. There's YouTube videos like trying to like debunk it. I don't think any of them really work. I don't know. How long do you think this will all last? I don't know, it'll last long enough for him to make it out with a ton of money. It's true. What is his current net worth? Is that public? Okay. Okay, so I think I think publicly it's a hundred million. He has videos where he claims he's the world's richest. No way, he, no way he's worth that much. He's That's, worth a hundred million dollars? I mean maybe if feel like he sold his brand is that liquid or is that like valuing uh, Tesla University and all that, like a lot? I probably a lot. Actually oh sorry, his new net worth is 250 million no when he way, when he first i think it's He's just not worth gonna, that much some of them are saying 350 million i think it's more just no like, no no his publicity is really blowing it up this one says 30 million that's more reasonable yeah no he's worth 30 million um, tops because you know he was like a kickboxing champion so i'm sure he has like money from that and like a brand built yeah. off of it and, but yeah but there's a video and he's like well if i if i told everybody i was the world's richest man then i would have a lot of trouble with the government so no Dude, 350 not. million isn't true there's no way no um yeah i don't know yeah he's definitely worth a a good amount though but i think he's gonna i think he's he's kind of like a if if a trend was a was a person yeah he definitely is um like bro's gonna go in and out of he's gonna be a star for like a minute who knows how long it'll last I don't really know how they calculate his net worth though, because I know he does actually own the cars. Uh, they he has just, they just like they There's, they flip the yeah. coin and and they said, uh, oh, 50 cents. <laughs> All right, now let's add three hundred fifty million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah it's, I don't know. Because, like, maybe Hustler University is worth, like, something just because, like, the amount of revenue it brings in. But I don't know who would really buy it from them. Like, if he was actually to go to sell it. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm sure, like, a lot of subscriptions will... I'm I'm hoping for the sake of the people who bought them, these subscriptions will start getting canceled. Oh, I'm sure it will, yeah. In the next month. <laughs> you should... I think you should... If I was Tate, I actually I don't know if you can't really sell Hustler University. That's the main thing, because it's so attached to his personal brand that like, yeah, exactly. If he sold, you can't sell. Can you? Like it's 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 Andrew Tate is why people get it. That's yeah, the big thing about like building a a business that's connected to your personal brand. It makes it like difficult to sell, cause it's you. I mean, that's like a lot of YouTube channels and stuff. You see like those, like, uh, what's an example? Like any of those, like, like five minute crafts, you could totally sell that and have someone else run it, you know? Yeah. Or exactly. any like Instagram theme page, you could totally sell it and have someone else run it. Like those are like, really easy things to, um, to be able to like get out of. But if you're yeah. building like a personal brand or a personal YouTube channel, like you're not selling that thing. Oh, you know what? So I... Hmm? Speaking about selling YouTube channels, did you hear about the whole Disrupt TV thing? No. Okay. What happened? YouTuber called uh, Disrupt. I love his videos. They're really, really good. He does, like, all sorts of stuff on um, on computer viruses and cool stories like oh, that. Oh, yeah. I've heard of this guy before. Insane. I don't know. I think he has someone else animate for him now, but, like, the 3D animations are crazy good looking. Um... But yeah, uh, back to the point. This channel was founded by two guys, one named Jack, I think, and one named Jordan, or I think. Do you want to double check that, so? Uh, um, yeah, sure. Uh, so two guys found this channel, each for 50-50. The guy named Jordan is the one, like, funding it, it sounds like. So um, after a while, I mean, Jack is the one who's, running the channel itself making the content all that they slowly hire more people and jack wants to buy out jordan's share of the company because jordan isn't doing a ton besides like funding it so jack offers or okay jack said this is what jack claims that jordan's price was five hundred thousand dollars for the his his half of the company um which values the company at like a million bucks or something. Um, and Jack accepts it. But now this guy's $500,000 in debt. And he has to like make these payments. And he realizes that he can't make these payments. So what he does is a YouTube video comes out called like, I'm selling this channel or something. And Aww. he says that it's going to be like a crowdfunding thing. So any viewer can, for a minimum of $100, buy like some amount of, some percent of disrupt. But... The main thing is that he valued the company. It was a pre-cash valuation of like 10 million plus for a channel mm. with like a million subscribers. So yeah, no. he totally disguises this as like, oh, it's like an investment in this channel and the future and stuff. But then like in the fine print, you can say like, you can see it just says like, one, you'll be, don't expect more than like a few cents of dividends for the foreseeable future. And then at the very bottom of there, um, of like the financial report, it, it, it shows the real reason. Like, he totally hid the fact that he bought half of the channel for $500,000 that he's in debt. And he's only raising $500,000. So he says, like, oh, this $500,000 will go to making better content, VR content, um, video games, all that. But 100%, $500,000, all of this money is just going to paying off this debt so this guy can own 100% of the company himself. And obviously like a lot of backlash from this everyone's like oh he's just trying to like scam his his friends to get himself out of debt and i think like it would have been fine if he just done like a gofundme like help me pay off this this channel that i bought but he the fact that he disguised it is like oh it's like an investment people weren't that happy about it and then more stuff started coming out from from uh the original co the co-founder jordan and disrupt claimed that like or I mean Jack or whatever claimed that um he I really hope those names are right because I said them a lot. Is it Jack? Uh, and Jordan? It's Jack and Mark. Mark? No, it's Jordan. You sure? I was unsure about Jack. No, it's, yeah, there's Jack. 
It's Jack and Jordan, I'm pretty sure. Um, I, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I just um, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, Sorry. So yeah, uh, Jordan then came out and said, or initially Jack said that, oh, Jordan only gave me ten thousand dollars. That was all the funding. But it turns out that Jordan had actually been paying for like months of rent and the amount of money that um he said is estimated to be around like two hundred thousand dollars because he said it was his valuation um where he got his five hundred dollars five hundred thousand dollars for um the fifty percent of the company was it was it was just over two times the amount of money that he invested. So five hundred thousand dollars divided by two two fifty, but we'll say like a little, little bit less because he said it was a little bit over that. So two hundred thousand dollars is a good place to peg his initial investment. And yeah, like I'm kind of on team Jordan here. I love Jack and the content that he makes, but like he kind of vilified Jordan in a way and tried to scam his friends, uh, fans a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So it was like, he tried to make like a crowdfunding thing. Yeah, he tried to make it seem like, oh, you're like buying part of this this company but it was really just like you're making a 100 hundred dollar donation because your money ain't going anywhere you know <laughs> like yeah so it was like it was valued at 10 million dollars 10 million dollars when the valuation that jack just paid to buy out was a valuation of one million dollars oh so people weren't really getting any of the youtube channel are right, you getting nothing. okay i get it no, 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 yeah no, you're no, getting like, like this guy is just in debt and he's like having a panic attack and yeah i mean it's not a terrible idea the alternative, I mean, what's going to happen now? Because people are like, okay, this is like a scam. People aren't going to give him any money. Um, I think the other 50% ownership is just going to go back to, to Jordan. And Jack made it sound like, oh, this would be like a terrible scenario. Jordan's going to mess up the whole thing. There's going to be like a restructure of ownership. But I think Jordan's just going to get 51%, so a controlling share. And Jordan's like, all I want to do is make more content. And... Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to be terrible. So hopefully hmm. Disrupt content will still come out and the single blow over. But I don't know. I thought it was interesting. It kind of like brings up the idea of like, oh, YouTube channels, all that stuff going public. We talked about FaZe going public in the last podcast. But I mean, you kind of just have to treat them like any other business and give them like a real valuation based on yeah. how much money they make. That's pretty um, crazy. I never thought about a YouTube channel as a business. It always just seemed like it was more tied to a person than tied. Yeah, to... yeah. I mean, a lot of times it is tied to a person, but I mean, more and more of them are getting like. There's a lot of no face YouTube channels now, you know. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe also my YouTube channel, my my 300 subscribers, and want to buy it. I'm gonna say Maybe. how much. I think a hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars is fair. That's my that's uh, my disrupt that's my disrupt valuation right there. 100k <laughs> for three 300 subscribers. That that seems fair. Seems fair, but you get all the videos on there. So yeah, right. Comes all right. The videos. Yeah. Huh? Uh, Comes with no. the videos. No, no, no? not included. I, for an extra that, uh, for an extra? for two hundred thousand dollars all. For no, no, actually you, no, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it. Right? I'm gonna make it a subscription like BMW. You can you have to pay me, uh, like eighteen dollars a month for the videos. Um, okay. all right. We're going to move into some minnow tank. We got some some ingenious business ideas today. I'm saying, do you want to go first or should I? Sure. Okay. Well, mine's not too great, but it was just something I was thinking of. Like, I was mindlessly scrolling. What do you mean it's okay. okay? Okay. No. What he no, meant no, to sorry. say was that this it's is the greatest ingenious. idea it's ever. Yeah. It's the best <laughs> idea I've ever had in my entire life. There we go. Life. Okay. I was like scrolling through TikTok, you know, like I'm sure most people do. And I keep seeing these like little like toys, like like fidget toys or like toy helicopters or like it's like random things on tiktok have you seen them before what i'm talking about like the drop shippers yeah like all the drop shippers yeah but like what i'm realizing is that all these drop shippers they're all on their own website like none of them ever go out to amazon and so usually the product's on there but i'm thinking like right if you're able just to catch like those things right when they get popular on tiktok and put them on amazon like you can make so much money so quickly because nobody wants to buy off of their weird websites. You okay. want to buy off of Amazon, like a reputable, reputable place. So like, basically, like, 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 what is what is the Amazon Amazon FBA? Yeah. So Amazon FBA distribution as a service. Yeah. Yeah. No, like it totally work because I th- yeah. I feel like it's probably is a, like a decent amount of hoops to jump through to get your product listed 
on Amazon. Yeah, but what I'm saying so if is like really good at Amazon FBA. You could totally. Yeah, or like you can already have like you know just like an Amazon like con- like confirmed seller account. Like you have like Amazon mm-hmm. favorites and stuff, and like you can easily list products at that point. Like yeah, just list those or like even like reach out to like the main dropshipper and like ask them to like just transfer snake the idea. Stuff, that's no, that's yeah. what you do. You just snake yeah, the or idea you can just and snake do it on it Amazon too. FBA instead of Shopify. Yeah, exactly. But like. See, like, I would always rather buy something off of Amazon than Shopify. One hundred percent, I would trust it a lot more too if it was coming from. Yeah, Amazon, and you always have probably. returns on Amazon, stuff like that. Just... Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, that was my idea. S- snaking Amazon, sna- I mean, s- snaking viral TikTok TikTok drop shipper ideas and putting it yep. on Amazon. That could work. You could definitely make money. Like, I've been thinking about that for like a long time. Their whole like reason like a lot of like the main overhead for if you drop ship is your advertising costs but now that there's tiktok if you can just like try to go viral like post like a million videos a, a day and, and yeah see but with that... this it's like you can let someone else go viral for you like you it's don't true. have to do the advertising you just have to like, yeah because then people might look it up you could just like you could respond to comments that are like where do i buy this be like on amazon yeah, exactly. Yeah, just go and link just in my bio. Havoc on the comment section. <laughs> yeah, link yeah. in my bio, not yours. Yeah, you might get yeah, banned, like, but also when you Google stuff, like Amazon always comes up before all the Shopify pages. Yeah, that's true. Like if you look up like like toy helicopter, the first thing is Amazon toy helicopters, and you get you like you pay yourself to the top of Amazon. Maybe Sale could do some Sale <laughs> search engine optimization is that so cool yeah. that your name is your you, are you gonna do search engine optimization when you're older just because i don't know i think i could <laughs> i feel like it's your calling dude <laughs> yeah the world it's wanted it to be exactly all right my idea is actually um a little bit similar to yours um really? but n- not really so as you know raleigh's birthday was a couple days ago and um we're we we have like we're hanging out with him and stuff like in like two days and i don't know about you i haven't got him anything yet and can't say the pressure's on because as you know i don't disappoint with my birthday gifts they're usually pretty good um Mm -hmm. i don't just do no lame gift card or something that's that's small boy stuff you know we need that birthday's in two weeks oh fuck all right okay i have more time for you um I'll, i'll think of something good um Basically, we need some something that's going to get a nice laugh out of everyone. And my idea is, what if there is a website that specializes in the only thing that the website sells is just like legitimately funny birthday gifts. So it's or or okay, this is the other idea that that we had. That would be the higher profit, higher turnover, but the easier to set up way would just make a website or like a list that just has a ton of Amazon affiliate links that links like funny <laughs> yeah. stuff on Amazon. Then you don't need to do any of the shipping yourself. Cause like the, the original idea was to like my original idea is okay, make a website where you can get like gifts as like funny gifts as soon as possible. But then it was, I think it was actually Nate who came up. He's like, Sam, what if you just like affiliate links on Amazon? And like, you're a genius. That's so much easier. You won't make as much money, but I think the amount of time that it takes to set up it, and it'd be so passive. Like you That's just true. find like you just like you yeah. just like browse for like maybe thirty minutes a day to find something funny on Amazon and like add that to the website or something. That's and, so true. Because I, I like I when you try to find that like online, they're all like so corny and stuff. You just have to come like legitimately like troll stuff. Like what have I gotten for all in the past? I've gotten like the grass slides. Those are always yeah, those are sweet. A fan favorite. Funny shot glasses for kids who are underage. Always <laughs> great. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I could I could find some funny stuff. I have an idea of what I'm gonna get for raw. I don't want to spoil it though, you know. Yeah. Of um, course. I actually know. I think I've told you about them, the hats. Yes, you have. I'm I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get him one of those. That's um. Funny. So yeah, and then I have another like little idea that builds on to to that this idea. Um, actually, one of the, it's it's an idea for a product that can go on this this website. Um, okay. I this one I I came up with this while we were for okay for context so you know i you know I don't, i'm not just crazy we were blowing up sprite cans in a bonfire that's where this and this is where this idea started um okay can of beans all right okay like refried beans 
Yeah. And it's called rocket fuel. And what we do is there's um uh there's a chemical in the beans that makes you fart, you know? Um, I think it's is it Yeah, okay. Um I think it's called raffinose. Wait, what makes beans what what in beans makes you fart? <laughs> So, um yeah okay. we basically just like add yeah raffinose we just add that like you can get that in like the pure form i think and we just add that to the refried beans and um and we we sell them and we get good packaging it's like a gag gift that you can buy for friends it's just beans that make you fart a lot this is so bad <laughs> now that i'm saying it it sounds so cringe it was a lot cooler when i when i first thought of it I'm like bro we can make the the beans that make you like have massive farts and we this is so funny but i don't know it's not as cool Dude. now that i'm saying it <laughs> i don't know it's not that bad would okay. you be happy if you got rocket fuel for your birthday it'd be pretty funny right yeah all right i think we should end it there <laughs> yeah let's, um, let's end up the rocket fuel. Let's, let's end it on the rocket fuel um that's for this episode i hope you all enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a review um if you're on like apple podcast spotify whatever just like scroll down add that review and uh yeah it helps us grow the pod um so yeah we'll be back next tuesday mark your calendars and uh yeah, that's it. Later. Later. <laughs>